Right now I'm in the trophy room. Guys, I made it, man. Yo, my camera was not on when I was in the car. I tried to do an intro while I was in the car, but that did not work out. But nevertheless, I'm mic'd up and I'm ready. They bring me some shoes. I'm gonna debate on which shoe I wanna get. And also, man, it's a new, it's a surprise in the building. A surprise I wasn't anticipating. It might be an impulse buy. Check this out. So here they go, the airships. First of all, what's your thoughts about them? Me? Yeah. I like them. You like them? I like the bottom house. Ooh, I didn't see the outsole. That's dope. Yeah, yeah. That is dope. Pretty clean shoe. Yeah, it is. It is. Suede, too. Um, do I want to purchase both? Yeah, I'm going to take a look at the blue ones. Yo, I did not know that outsole looked like that. That's fire. Lace bag, extra laces look like it's tan. Um, it says every game on the back heel. Also, you got this uh, pamphlet. Last time I saw a pamphlet was in the Air Jordan 2's uh, Chicago's. They came with a pamphlet, so it makes sense that they do this like that. Oh, and there they go. There they go. Um, look at the box. The box have a red Nike check, where the blue ones has a blue check. So guys, I did win both pairs. I'm actually debating on if I'm gonna grab both pairs, man. We can put this aside for now. And then we'll take a look at these, the UNC colorway. Ooh, look at that, yo. Every game. I like that touch right there where they did tan laces as well. Blue swoops. And ironically, this is crackle or cracked leather. Crackle leather. I don't even know what you want to say. But look at the also as well. It's definitely look, it looks aged. That's dope. But yo, peep this. So comparing this to this, this is all suede, literally. It's suede. It's kind of rough suede, not the best smooth suede. And this is considered leather. It could be the crackle leather, but that's the fundamental difference of the two. But I like it though. I like it. Oh, do I want to get both? Here's the reason why I'm debating by getting both, man. Check this out. And it's because of this right here. The Trophy Room 7s. How you doing, boss? Guys, you already know I had a pair and I politely give mine to Mike Rich. You know, he's a big seven guy. But here's another opportunity for me to get a second pair. However, it's a size of 11 and a half, not my true size, but the hair, yo. I could definitely wear 11 and a half, man. I might just slide my feet in here just to see what the comfort feels like so it doesn't feel too much of impulse buy. Because if not, guys, I would have to buy all three. And that's crazy to me, man. Buying all three at one time. I don't think I bought three pairs of shoes at one time. I bought three pairs of shoes. Yeah, I don't think I have. But this is a definitely cop. This is a must cop right here. This one, I'm debating, and this one, I'm debating. I'm gonna slide my feet in here real quick. They do have 11 and a half, clearly. This is what I have in hand. They also got like a 13. I forgot what the other size they mentioned. But this is debatable, guys. I'm not sure. I might just get off the strength because I don't have a pair and I, I would like to have a pair, you know what I mean? And it's still possible. Possibly I can wear it, you know what I'm saying? I already did a review on these. Like I said, I had these before. So I already know everything about them. If I do get them, it will have to rock them with thin, thin, thin socks. So we already know this is a must have. This is a possibility. So I'm gonna debate a little bit longer. We can talk about these later. So let me put these up. Big debate, big debate. Do I cop these? Do I go over the trophy room? Size 11 and a half. Tough decision. Technically, I was only coming here for this joint, but surprisingly, I can get those joints. So I know what I'm gonna do. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh, and by the way, look at the box. These are size 12, my size. Look at it. I actually wish they restocked these joints right here. <laughs> That's why I prefer they restock. But I'm happy either which way, man. How many of you guys going after twos? 
I'll give y'all the skinny while I was here. It was like a quick in and out, like takeout. But um, now I got a little bit more time. I actually like this colorway. It's predominantly all white. It is a two. I like twos. I think twos are comfortable. They definitely don't get to play. And these are the lucky green twos I like as well. I think it's a fire shoe. And this is how it all started. I was coming here to actually take a look at these, see if these are in the building, and also to do the raffle. And ironically, look at that, man. I came for one shoe, almost left with three. Here's a counterpart, man. Here's a sibling, but this is the yellow pair. Uh, Nike here on the back, but they don't have that signature scripted on the back heel. The True Blues joints, which I don't have a pair of. Maybe if I find it cheaper, it's a little bit cheaper, I'll probably cop. And I also got the Wizard 3s as well, which I like, I like, but I don't have to have it right now, not at the moment. We got some foams in the building. These are 250. Your foams is that pricey now? 250? This is crazy. What's your thoughts on it, man? You think foams making its way back? You think people's gonna cop? Comment down below. They also got these joints, which I've seen in the outlet. And believe it or not, I actually like these. These are fire. Oh, y'all cop these? I forgot what they're called. 160? The old school and pricing of Jordan 1s. They also got the brown joints. They got one of my favorite colorways in the back. This UNC blue, that's fire to me. And they got the all black joints as well. I like them. We saw these the other day, I told y'all. <laughs> when I was here, I showed that. And also the canvas Air Jordan 1 lows. Material's different, man. I don't think I have ever seen that before. And also got a blue pair as well. You guys already know what shoe I cop, man. I've mentioned it throughout the whole entire video. It's no secret. These are the UNC ear shift. Peep the label. These are size 12, my size. And I'm happy to have them, man. These are fire in hand. Now, they are calling them the Air Jordan 1 lookalikes, the Dauber Gangers. Slightly, maybe, I, I, I get the resemblance, but I, I don't think it is identical. I do feel like this is the middle child between the Dunks and the high OGs Air Jordan 1. But nevertheless, man, I digress on that point. These shoes are fire, man. I love this colorway. I love UNC Blues on shoes. The back heel says every game. That's playing homage to Michael Jordan wearing his UNC North Carolina shorts underneath his Chicago Bulls shorts when he played basketball. I always mention this on the channel. Basketball players are superstitious. If you have a great game in a certain pair of shoes or maybe a certain tank top on or, or probably a sock or even a song you listen to during warmups, you repeat those same rituals every single game to get the same performance, especially if you drop a 30 piece, which Michael Jordan was doing, aver averaging 30 pieces. But you know what I'm saying? When you was in a high school or if you play college ball, you already know how it goes. And I get it. It's just something that sticks with every single athlete, regardless of which sport. It's an unsaid behavior that a lot of us did and still do to this day. But let's talk about the shoe. Nike Air on the tongue. Obviously, we're not missing that. And that's why I say it's a middle child between the Dunks and the High OGs. The leather though, however, is like a crackle leather, man. We've seen this in the Air Jordan 1 Amoneers that had the same crackle leather that was falling apart. Um, So much so, it came with a little warning. Warning us like, yo, you know, expect high precipitation of flaking. UNC Blue Swoosh, both on the medial and lateral side. This could pass as wool, which would be dope. I wish they did an uh, Air Jordan 1 in wool. They did an Air Jordan 3 in wool. It could have been suede, but it was gray. And kind of give that wool texture feeling. That would be nice. The back heel collar is in suede as well. And you get the every game embroidered on the back heel. Blue laces, extra set of tan laces. I love these joints. And you guys are probably wondering, did I pick up the red pair? Because I did get a second pair of shoes. Guys, this is my second pair of shoes. Peep the label. These are size 11 and a half, one of my sizes. The Air Jordan 7 Trophy Rooms. Fire shoe. I actually won a pair several months back when they released them. Anyone that submitted a raffle for this shoe actually won, and I was one of them. However, I know a guy who likes Air Jordan 7s, and he liked them a lot more than I did, and he doesn't live in Orlando, so I blessed them. Not really a big fan of 7s. I don't know who is, except for Mike Rich. That's right, Mike Rich, you are a big fan of Sevens, man. Hopefully you get a pair.
That's my favorite. <laughs> Been following the channel since before I was even doing YouTube. So I, I, I wanted to help the homie out. He didn't even hesitate. He's like, yo, I get him, man. Because I know he loves sevens and he rocked his shoes, bro. So I'm happy it went to him. In return, in good faith, I got me a pair back. Look at that. I handed it over and I received. Now, this wasn't premeditated. I did not know those was in the building. I won the raffle for both the UNC Blues and those red pairs. And I politely passed on the red pairs. And if you guys looking for a full review, I have done a full review several months back. I'll probably link it right above, so click on that if you want to see it. Now, I have never bought three pairs of shoes the same day retail at one swipe. Maybe. If that's true, I think the I think the Air Jordan 11 breads I bought three pairs of. Remember back in the days before 2020, I think it was around 2019, you could win at Champs and you could win at Foot Locker and Finish Line. So you could have won three locations and I think I did for that particular shoe. But to spend retail on three pairs of shoes, I haven't done yet. And I wasn't trying to. Now the owl is a different question. You could probably get three or four shoes for the price of one. Now this did retail for 225, I believe. And this joint retail for $140. Clearly it's plus tax on both shoes. Another hidden gem of the shoe, it got your size on the inside collar. The last time I saw that was the Air Jordan 1 breads. I love when they put the stamp in there. I think Jordan Brand should bring that back for all the OG colorways. And guys, this was the first time I won any pair of shoes from the trophy room since the Air Jordan 7 release, man. So the fact that I won two pairs of the Air Ships, different colorways, that was a blessing. And how I got the Air Jordan 7, was it a return? Was it a restock? No. And the only pairs I know they had was a size 11 and a half, size 13 and a 14. So do with that information as you may. If you want to pull up and see if they still have it, good luck. Anyways, man, thank you guys for watching. I'm out of here. Peace. New shoes. New shoes. New shoes. Did I miss anything? I think I covered everything about this particular shoe. Oh, the outsole.